is the vapor degreaser. MLR216. Baron Blakesley. Dun, 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 dun. This is the automated hoist going down into the tank right now. You see how it is an automated tank, automated hoist with a basket. The automated hoist allows it to go down very slowly. In this case, it's cleaning on the dirty side. Which is not how you'd want to set yours up. But normally you just clean in the vapor and then you move over to the other side, to the clean side. See how slowly it comes up? Now it moves over, it's moving over to the other side of the tank. Going back down to the clean side, where you can have ultrasonics, or you can just have it uh, rinse off in the recirculating fluid. Comes back up. Comes up very slowly, it stops a little bit up there, and eventually it will come on out. Here's the degreaser. This is the control for the uh, for the hoist itself. See, if you have to manually control it, you can with these buttons. There's the emergency stop. This is our controls, our uh, digital controls. Right now, it's measuring the temperature of the of the tank because it's 67 degrees in here but when you have fluid in the system, it'll be measuring the temperature of the fluid, the boiling solvent. You see, here comes the, the basket's coming right back up to its start position. There it is. Parts are ready to come on out. I'll walk you around the back side of the machine. This here is uh, the refrigeration system. One refrigeration system for each of the two sets of cooling coils. So when you look in here, you'll see that there's the, the top coil. Here we call that the vapor trap because it runs colder. And you have the lower set of coils. And here you'll notice, let's see if I can find it. Let's see, there should be, you can't see it, but there is a hole down here. Maybe you can see that hole. That's where the solvent returns, the distilled solvent will, will return to the tanks over here on the side. Back on this side, here is the water separator, the thing with the black knobs on top. So the solvent will go into the water separator, and in the water separator is where, well, the water comes out. The water actually, in this machine, there's actually two sets of water separators. One's in here, but I think we're going to get rid of that one in the future. And then we have a spray tank right here. This is the spray tank where if you want to, you can use this wand. See this spray wand right here? This spray wand can be used to manually clean off the parts. It's, it's, this one's attached. I can't get it off. But uh, you can use it to spray off the parts if you, if you need to. That's only in the cases of, of uh, you know, some really tough contamination and so forth. So back down to here, this is the spray box and that's where the solvent comes from. It's distilled solvent and uh, the distilled solvent will be sprayed through the spray wand. We also have a recirculation filter in here. And that's about it. Now when the tank gets dirty, you can drain them. Uh, typically this is not the one that needs to be drained, but it's the one over here. On the dirty side, notice that it has the large, what we call marine cleanout, so that when the dirt and contaminants um, get to be too much, then you can just uh, undo that, turn the machine off, undo that, clean it all out, and uh, that's how you get your waste, your flux, or your dirt, oils, and greases out of the system. So that's about it there. Um, Anyway, 
So we look forward to y'all's purchase order. And uh, if there are any other questions you might have, just let me know. Here's a just kind of a cutaway of the of the, how the whole system works. You see how right down here is the boiling solvent. It's heated to this vapor zone. And in the vapor zone, it's condensed in the cooling coils. From the cooling coils, the solvent drains into the water separator. And from the water separator, it goes into the spray tank. And the spray tank is what can be used with the spray wand, which here you see is right there. That's a handheld spray wand. And we can also make a fixed spray bar inside the tank. If you don't want to use a spray wand, you can have a final rinse of a spray bar. And it's very inexpensive for that. So, uh, if you have any questions, please give me a call. 512-426-5728. Thank you. Thank you.